Hey folks, in this video I wanted to show you a really powerful solution using Google Sheets to track your tasks automatically. We can utilize a bit of Google Apps Script to create custom functions that will move a task between sheets based on its status. Don't worry if you're a bit unfamiliar with Google Apps Script because I've got both the solutions I'm going to show you in this video available as templates from my website. I'll pop the links in the description box below. So let's dive in and take a look at how this works. When it comes to task management, it's best to understand the fundamental method behind the status of a task. So you can see we have these, these sheets along the bottom. We've got backlog, waiting, to do, in progress, completed and archived. So these are proven task statuses to use with task management. So a backlog status is used to identify ideas that you've created, listing any, any sort of tasks that you have in mind to, to tackle in some point in the future. That's where you list all of your tasks that you want to do. Not necessarily now, not necessarily tomorrow or next week, but at some point you just log all of your ideas in there. Moving, skipping over the waiting, if we just jump to to do, to do is the stuff that you've decided that you want to work on. That's the, Those are the tasks that you ideally want to work on in a, in a period of time. So for me personally, I, I set my sort of tasks up in a weekly basis. I'll move tasks from the backlog into my to-do and I usually create around sort of 10 to 15 tasks in the to-do list that I'll plan to work on throughout the next week. Once you've got your tasks in the to-do list, from here you'll move them into in progress when you start working on a particular task. Usually you don't really want more than say two or three tasks in progress at any one time because obviously it's difficult to work on you know multiple things at once. So usually one or two is enough, you know, three at tops, I would say, is, is all you need in the in progress status. If a task, you, let's say for argument's sake, you start a task and it's in progress right now, but you realize that at some point during its status, you need to get some more information. Maybe you need to find out some information from another person or from some other resource. What you should do is move into the waiting status. So that just means that you are working on it, um, it's not in the backlog. It's something you want to work on as part of this to do, but it's it's stop. You can't do anything. You're you're stopped by some process, so it goes into the waiting stage. And that effectively, you can move you can move a task from any of these statuses. But the way I work is that, as I say, I start from the backlog, move into to do, um, and then move into in progress. And if I can't do it, it goes into waiting, and then it comes back into to do or into progress. Once you've completed, obviously, it goes into the completed sheet. And once at the end of the week on a Friday, if that's the end of your week, if that's how you work, then what you'll do is you'll just change the status and it will move it into the archive. And the archive just gives you a list of everything that you've done basically, which is great for, you know, if you want to ever check back on something that was done, you know, months or weeks ago. So that's the principle behind sort of these statuses. And the great thing about this, these particular sheets that I've got the templates for on my website right now is that you can move these things around within these sheets without copying and pasting tasks around. So all you do is if you look at this one here, we've got this employee training day right now. If we just change this here, click the, the status and we change it to a different status. So let's move it into to do and you'll see this will disappear from there. We get this little message come up to say that it's moved into the to do sheet. And there it is right at the bottom there. And as the as the task is moved, it resorts the sheet based on its priority. So for example, if we change this to a priority of one, Right now this won't sort the sheet at this stage, but if we move this into the in progress, so we've got the employee training day, you'll see it goes right to the top now because it's got a priority of one. So that's how the priorities work and you'll you'll notice that these sheets are resorted afterwards as well. So both the sheet it came from and the sheet it's going to will get resorted in the, into the correct order. We have these labels as well, which are really handy to you know, draw attention to something you know, that you want to highlight on that particular task. Maybe you need to discuss that with somebody or, or follow up with someone. You can have due dates so that you can draw attention to the fact that you need to get it done by a certain time. So when you're looking in your backlog, you can have a look for the, the times that, that are important to you. And in the pro sheet that I'm offering, which is currently 50% off, you can create tasks with this sidebar here, which is really quite cool. So let me show you what that looks like. If we just copy this here right now, so we'll set the priority to four and we'll give it a, a task label of discuss and let's choose a date. Let's go for the 1st of August. 
So I'm going to pop this in the backlog. So for now, I'm going to delete this row. So that's gone. We don't have that there right now. So this is the new task that I've just literally copied from here and I'm going to put it in the backlog. So when we click submit, the Google Apps script will tell you that it's moved it to the backlog sheet or added it to the backlog sheet here. And then this will get cleared out. You can see ready for the next task. So if we go and have a look at the backlog, it was this one here and that's been added at the bottom there for now. And so that one there is the one we just added. And the great thing about when you add it with this sidebar, it actually creates a document that relates to this, this, this particular task. So you can open this document up and you can add comments, you can add a checklist with subtasks, any links or pictures or anything like that, that you want to add that's related to that task. And again, you know, you can change the priority on this, for example, and let's move this into the to-do. And there it goes. And there it is there with a priority of one and it's in the to-do list. As I say, if you go to my website, there's two templates that are available. The basic template includes all of the functionality to move tasks between sheets. That includes the backlog, all of these statuses here. It doesn't include all tasks, analytics, or the task board. This task board is a really powerful way to visualize your tasks in one go. This is called a Kanban board, and you can see at a glance how many tasks you've got in each status as you go. And of course you can jump to each one from here as well. So that the pro sheet comes with this task board and it comes with the analytics as well that you see here. So you can see what's happening with your tasks. And in addition to that, you also get this link to a document as well. As you create tasks with this sidebar, it will create the, um, the Google document for you as well. The free solution I'm giving away right now in the templates doesn't include the sidebar or this, this document link or the task board and the analytics. That's only available with the with the Pro Solution, which is 50% off. So I'll pop the links in the description box below. So make sure you go and check that out. And I'll also add a link to the article on my website, which explains the whole process of task management in general. So make sure you check that out too. I hope you found that useful, guys. I use this task sheet to manage my own tasks, and I'd encourage you to do the same because it, it really does enable you to get a grip of all your tasks that you currently have. Instead of just having one massive list of tasks, you can break them down into these different statuses and gain control. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Oh.